I understand being hesitant. It can be confusing. Most of us aren't scientists and we don't understand why the information keeps changing. But that's how science works. Something that is proved true is only true until it's proved otherwise. It's constantly evolving. The more they learn, the more they know and the better they can advise all of us. Look, it's important to be skeptical about things you put into your body. But no matter what you hear, this isn't new science. They've actually been working with RNA technology for at least a decade. They were hoping it would work for swine flu, but it didn't. They tried it on Ebola, but it didn't work there either. We actually just got incredibly lucky that something we had already done a ton of research on worked on COVID. I understand it seems experimental or like it was created too fast, but like I said, they didn't start from scratch. And the thing that usually takes drugs so long to be approved is competition, money, and red tape. Labs compete for grants to move the science forward, and then they keep their discoveries very close to the vest so no one will steal their ideas. When something is ready to be tested, they have to start with a limited trial of people, do it in stages, and then put their drug through the always slow process of government approval. In this case, because we were dealing with a worldwide pandemic, the things that usually slow down development didn't apply. We threw tons of money at the problem. People volunteered by the thousands to be in the trials. Government prioritized the efficient movement of the approval process and the whole world worked together to share information to save itself. It's actually an amazing lesson in what's possible if we work together more often for the benefit of humanity and not for the bottom line of some pharmaceutical company. I got vaccinated right away because I have a chronic lung disease and would 100% die from COVID. But my husband, who's almost embarrassingly healthy, also got the vaccine right away to protect me. As soon as it was approved for teens, my son got the vaccine. But I spaced out his injections to seven weeks instead of three because the science started to suggest that there were some heart issues in younger male patients and spreading out the doses might benefit someone like him with a heart murmur. You take what you know and you make the right decision for your family. The thing was, there was no question he was getting the vaccine. COVID is vicious. Long-term COVID is debilitating. And statistics now show us that 99.5% of the COVID deaths in the US are among the unvaccinated. Yes, the vaccinated can still get the virus, but our chance of getting really sick from it is negligible. Get vaccinated. Save your friends, save your family, save yourself. We can end this pandemic, but only if we all work together.